It's collab time. If you guys are interested to see what is in my refrigerator and the staples I use in the containers I use, keep watching. Welcome to my channel. I am Carrie from Weight Watchers with Carrie. Please be sure to check out all of the other girls and guys down below in the description box who also did this collab. I want to thank Mel for joining me in doing this collab. So I show you all of the staples that I usually keep on hand in my refrigerator. And I also show you the containers that I use to put all of those things in. And I love these containers because they're just, they make my fridge stay so clean. And I love that. This is gonna be an awesome collab. This is showing you what is inside our refrigerators. If you are interested in that, please keep watching. All right, guys, we are doing a tour of my refrigerator. I have had many people ask to see how I organize my fridge. Now, I didn't thoroughly clean my fridge, so it looks kind of crowded right now, even though this is way better than it normally is. <laughs> so we will start on this side. What I do in the butter dish, I always keep the butter and cream cheese because Nick eats a lot of cream cheese. We don't eat any cream cheese, but we do have butter. So that is ours. This is always my salad dressing and then my salad sprinkles. Nick usually has that on his salad. We don't eat this, but this is our salad dressing over here and these are Nick's over here. And then on this side, I always keep a small thing of Miracle Whip and a small thing of mustard. This is when we go on trips. I can just grab these out when we make our tuna sandwiches. I can just grab them out and throw them in the bag. Super easy that way. And they're small and you don't have to grab the huge one. Down here I have like salsas. Things we use most often is in the front. So I, we use a salsa all the time. We've got Parmesan cheese back there, which we don't use a lot of. Miracle Whip we use a lot. Mayonnaise, mustard, or I mean mustard, ketchup. This is clarified butter. Horseradish, Corey uses that. This one, I, I bought at a store and I'm trying to figure out how to use this. It's a cilantro cooking base and I really am excited to try it. So I wanna look up some recipes for that. I haven't opened it yet. And then down here we have all of our, down here we have all of our sauces, like tartar sauce, um, soy sauce, Worcestershire cider sauce. This is teriyaki. This is a sugar-free used barbecue. This is, taco sauce. These are Corey's favorite hot sauce, my favorite hot sauce, the sweet potato, and then just the regular hot sauce. And then we have regular, regular hot sauce right back there, which we use very little of. And then let's go over to this side. So on this side, I have fish sauce. And then this is all of my hot pepper sauce. I usually have them out where I can see them. So chili sauce. And then this is more hot pepper sauce. This is some more chili sauce. And this is green curry paste. And I think this is the same. And then we have basil and ginger up there in the tubes. Then down here we have ketchup in here. This is our sugar-free ketchup that Corey and I use. And then this is hoisin. I use a lot of that. And this is sesame oil. I do use a lot of that. Vanilla back there. We do use a lot of that as well. And then white cooking wine. This is some more chili oil because we like a lot of hot stuff in our, in our, we make a lot of stir fry, so we use a lot of that stuff. And then we have some vinegars down here, sherry, red wine vinegar. This is um, balsamic, and this is also balsamic. This is a brand new one because I was running very low on this one, so usually we keep those up there. And then on the top shelf, this is always how I keep it. We have our meats in there that I'm following for our dinner, so I have some um, ground turkey and some fish up there thawing out right now. We always have a big thing of spinach right here, pico de gallo. And then this is our like our breads and, and rolls and stuff that we'll eat. And then back in there is our, our flat one for the pizzas. And then I always keep this full of cottage cheese because I'm a cottage cheese junkie. And then up here I put things that we don't use very often, like our honey is back there. Some more sauces that we have left over and other types of mustard. Down on this shelf is Luna's food dish plus the garlic. I keep my garlic back in there. And then in this spot, which we're out of, is romaine lettuce. I keep my packs of romaine lettuce up there. This is our fruit tray that I can, um, I usually prepare our grapes and wash them right away so they're easier to grab. And then I keep extra fruit in there. This is empty because Corey's picking up some today actually. My blueberries go in here, berries, stuff like that, that don't need to be 
that need that need to be refrigerated but aren't whole fruits. And then here's my leftover. This is a bowl of chili we have left over. This is bean and corn mixture. And then back there is our stir fry. We have one leftover of that. Always keep my eggs here, farm fresh eggs. Down here I keep my premier protein, which I have to fill up there because I'm, uh, I'm getting close to out there. Of course my creamer. And then we have some almond milk back there. And then I keep my Ezekiel bread when it's getting low. Otherwise I'll keep it in the freezer. Because we'll go through this within the week. Otherwise I usually store it right in the freezer. And then this is all of our veggies. So we have to cut these up and prepare them. Corey said he'd help me when he gets home today. So I'll, you know, that'll be all gone and in bags and ready to go. This I keep like odds and ends stuff too. Just some stuff that we hardly ever use. Um, Sugar-free blueberry preserves. Some more hot sauce back there from Trader Joe's. That sort of thing. And then I keep my... Dasani water here. I've only got one left, so I got to grab some more of those. And way back in there, I think you can see that container way back in there. Those are little packets of things we've collected, like taco sauce, um, stuff from McDonald packets, from Chili's. All those little tiny packets I've kept in there for ages. <laughs> They're probably bad by now. I should probably go through it. And in this container, I keep my fresh herbs like cilantro, parsley. We're out of parsley, but we have cilantro here. Corey has his LaCroix water there always and he's funny he has orange green red yellow you know so when he has one the yellow will fall down in between the pink and the the orange so it'll start all over again yeah he's smart that way he won't allow me to fill this he has to fill it himself <laughs> funny so anyway in so in this one this one's kind of full right now so we have bacon always in this one with just a couple of the avocado minis back there. This is a brand new thing of bacon. We go through bacon pretty quickly. This is Nick's meat that he has all the time. This is our ham from Newski's that we have all the time. Corey loves this ham. And then we have our string cheese in there. Nick's is back there. And then this is our light version. And then this is prosciutto, my favorite thing to wrap around my string cheese. So we keep that stuff in there. And in here we have like our our breakfast sausage and then we have some chicken right there for salads this is our fruit drawer but as you can see we're out of fruit we're out of everything but these little oranges so Corey ran to the store for me to fill up on fruit so in here I keep always apples oranges pears nectarines stuff like that and in this drawer is also getting low. I have my yogurt, and then I keep a couple of the built bars in here. I don't know if you guys know, they only last 21 days in the refrigerator. I would keep them in the freezer and just take some out every once in a while, keep in your fridge. So we have a bunch in the freezer too. I'll show you my freezer too, I might as well. And then our yogurt, we always have this yogurt in here. Corey likes that. And then in our drawer down here, my fridge is beeping off telling me it's open. I always keep my baby bell in here, and I think I showed you guys this. This has Toy Stories on it. Um, oh, those are the older ones. So these have like the new Toy Story movies things on them. And then my Laughing Cow Cheese stay in there. Sour cream I always keep here. It's just a habit to just throw it right in there because we always get the squeezable. And then we always have ham and turkey. We don't eat much of this. So when we do eat it, we usually eat it like three days in a row. Otherwise, it goes bad on us. We haven't opened these yet, so they'll be good for a while. Swiss cheese. This hasn't been opened yet either, but sometimes we'll need Swiss cheese. We eat it rarely. These are our specialty cheeses that we get at the farmer's market. These are Trader Joe cheeses. One of our, you know, these two are our favorite cheeses to use because they're so low in points. This is some fresh mozzarella. The Asiago cheese I always keep. Asiago cheese. I always keep Asiago cheese shredded up really fine because you can use three grams of the fine shredded and that's zero points. And then this is just extra Asiago that will shred up to fit in there. Of course, we always have Velveeta cheese. This is more Asiago. And then this is Corey's 12 year age cheddar, which he really loves. Parmesan, that's real Parmesan that's shredded up. And then back here we have our chicken bases. These are my. These are my all-time favorite chicken bases. We have beef and turkey and chicken. So all three of those are back there. I love cooking with those. And that, I think, is it. I think I showed you everything. And then my storage containers, I will link where I got these. I love these things, and they keep everything, you know, they keep the bottom of this so nice and clean. And I love sticking all my stuff in there. It's so helpful. And then that way, if I want to, like, um, 
cut up my vegetables, I'll just grab this whole tray out and take it out. And then when I want to fill up this, I just grab the whole tray out and fill up my premier protein. And then the egg containers come with all of this stuff too. You can get one big set or you can buy them separate. But I'll link them down below. And then in my freezer, this is the top part of my freezer. There's where I keep most of my frozen built bars, but I have a bunch of my deep freeze downstairs. We have leftover cheese in there that I keep frozen so it doesn't go bad. So a lot of extra butter I freeze. And then this is just built bars, these minis and the butter, and then a couple packets of cheese. This is an extra pack of Luna's food, which I keep up here. And then the rest goes downstairs in the deep freeze. Of course, I keep my Orida frozen hash browns right here handy. I'll, each loaf, Nick likes this kind, we like this kind. We keep one of each of those. Extra bagel fins in there. And then my ice. And then we keep our some turkey sausages in here. And our, this is um, the Boca burgers. I keep some of those in there. I only got one of those left. Down here I keep my frozen baked fruit because Nick likes his spinach smoothies. And then down here is extra frozen vegetables. Like we got the Trader Joe's corn here. We have some broccoli and then some veggie spirals. This is a butternut squash. And then this is just a mixture of peppers, onions, and stir fry stuff. Then I have some chicken breasts in there. Usually don't use those, but I have them just in case I need a fast, fast meal. We have some tilapia. We have some extra bacon that I keep frozen. We have some salmon. And then I have a bunch more of these. And then Nick's pizzas are up here as well. Of course, we don't eat the pizzas, but Nick loves those things. And that is my freezer. All right, I hope you guys love that collab. I am so excited to see everybody's collab because I, I think it's just so helpful for those of us who are on Weight Watchers or even other plans because I know there's some other people on other plans that are doing this video as well. So check them all out. Maybe there's a plan that maybe they match up with whatever you're doing and it will help you out. Again, I want to thank everybody for joining us in this collab. It was a lot of fun to do. It was an easy collab to do. Please be sure to check out everybody's links that are down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will talk to you on the next video. Bye.